Okay, hello everyone. Back in the shop. Gonna do a little bit of work on my Fazari King's Peak. Went out for a trail ride yesterday. It was about half snow, half dirt. So it's a little dirty, gotta clean it up. But my fatty stripper kit came in today. So I'm gonna attempt to install these fatty strippers. Latex. Here's what comes in the kit. I think I ordered the uh, the works from fattystripper.com website. Comes with a little printed instruction man. Uh, some instructions. Comes with a little kit with some spare uh, tubeless valves. Little kit. A little core removal tool. I went with the uh, orange uh, bling strips. 3M kind of reflective. Hopefully kind of go with the uh, orange on the on my bike two of those and it comes with four of these fatty strippers just a real thin latex kind of a belt has a hole pre-cut into there and that'll go on the inside of my rim and hopefully help kind of seal up that bead because I've been didn't have any problems yesterday, but uh, so I wasn't on pure snow, so I wasn't running real low pressure. But uh, hopefully, so like when I get back up on the pure snow trails, uh, I'll, this will minimize a lot of the leaking I was getting out of the bead, and hopefully prevent any you know uh, ish, you know potential burping of the tire off the rim. So, but first I got to take my wheel off. Pop the tire off. I need to see exactly how uh, I had Fazari set the set up the wheels with tubeless. So I'm going to see what they've done inside, and hopefully I'll get these off to the to the point where I can you know, preserve the sealant that's in there. Get the uh, the rim band and any tape or whatever they got going on inside, and hopefully get this installed nice and quick and sealed up. All right, one moment. All right, got my back tire off. Boy, I got, uh, I did, you know, added some sealant in there myself because I wasn't sure how much uh, Fazari put in there. And uh, I probably doubled it. So that's quite a bit of sealant, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave that in there just to get some good, uh, good flat protection just in case you run over a thorn or a, or a <clears throat> sharp rock or stick or whatever see just for some seal protection sealant and there's my rear wheel they've got sun ringlet tape on there I'm somewhat hesitant to pop that off but I'm gonna go with the orange to, uh, bling tape that came with uh, the fatty strippers so I'll pull that stuff off and get going on my fatty my fatty strips. All right, back in a minute. Whew. Okay, got that off. That was probably one of the hardest things I've had to ever take off. I was trying to preserve it, not cut it. I came close to just going screw it, cut this tape, this rim tape uh, strip off. But uh, I got it. Man, that was tight. All right. On to the next step. Get the rim cleaned and get the uh, bling tape installed. Maybe put a couple of strips of uh, tape around it for just some reinforcement and then we'll get the uh, fatty strippers on. Okay. Oh, and I've got a little piece of, uh, got an old uh, road bike tube according to his instructions. We'll cut a little section of this, uh, pop a hole through it, and kind of use it as a, a little bit of a, a shim for the valve. This is the valve stem that came out of it. Overall, I say uh, Fazar did a pretty good job getting it set up. I then never did have any problems leaking air out of the valve stem, so we'll see how that uh, works. Okay, on to the next step. 
Okay, I've got the bling strip on. <clears throat> Bring this up here. Uh, according to his instructions, he basically says if you're going to install, or if you're going to run a little bit higher than that, 8 PSI, which I don't know if I ever will, but just in case, to wrap a couple of strips of uh, packing tape, clear packing tape. So I had this little gun loaded with some packing tape and ran that around, and he said to put it on the outs, kind of over the edge a little bit to kind of help protect the fatty stripper uh, at higher pressures from maybe getting torn by that, that edge right there. So the next thing I need to do <clears throat> is poke a hole where the valve stem goes. Um, my valve stem hole will go right there. I just kind of poked a little bit of a Oh, there to see it. I've got overlapped um, about to here across that flat part of the rim where the aluminum is and I overlapped according to him uh, to do about three inches. I didn't measure it off. I cut it about right to here. So yeah, no more like four or so but should be all right. I cut my tube, my uh, <clears throat> road bike tube, poked a hole through the tube with a with a, uh, <clears throat> a nail. Focus. There we go. Wall. So got that set up. I just uh, tried using a uh, a bic lighter. But wasn't odd enough, so I pulled out the little blowtorch and the old trusty nail, nice and hot. Warning, nail gets hot. Okay, let me poke that hole through there, and then I'll get to going on the uh, the uh, fatty stripper. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, time to get the fatty stripper on. Need to put the valve stem through the hole from the inside. So I'll do it so that the fatty stripper decal or uh, labels on the outside, CL for center line to help get lined up with the rim. And I'll get working on this back in a minute. Okay, got that fatty stripper on. You can kind of see how the latex strip pops over the side of the uh, the rim got my valve stem with the inner tube spacer set up now I'm going to put this on the tire and see if I can get it inflated all right back in a minute okay got the tire on didn't make too much of a mess a little bit tricky with all that sealant still in there, but not too bad. So you can see where the uh, fatty stripper is on the outside. I hit it just hit the uh, put the took the valve stem, pressed the core out, hit it with this little air with my air compressor real quick, popped right up. No problem. Looks like it's sealed pretty good. And now I'm just gonna air it up and let it sit. Overnight, and then uh, once I'm done, I'll pull away this fatty stripper and just trim along the edge. Then you won't even see it, or no, unless you look real close. So far, so good. This should look pretty cool with that orange on there, on the uh, orange on the Fazari. Maybe we'll see. More to come. Okay, I'm back. So far, the fatty stripper, the tire holding the air. It's been about a half hour, 45 minutes since I got it mounted. I got a call it a night, so I'm gonna bring the bike back inside the house. I think it looks pretty cool. There's the front, with, uh, that's how Fazari set it up. Had a ringlet um, rim strip on it with tape. It was actually set up really good. They did a good job. I'm sure maybe 
over time the uh, latex would have formed a good seal and uh, but I just was worried about burping it with low pressure up on um, the doing the snow rides. I still have to come back uh, tomorrow or sometime this weekend and trim away this uh, excess uh, fatty stripper latex. There's the, the bling strip, it's like a 3M reflective tape. A couple of creases, but I think it looks, it's turned up pretty good. Sure, over time, once it gets red and pressure, so I like it. I think it will matches that bike really good. My bike's still dirty. I gotta clean it up. I'll do that sometime this weekend. But overall, pretty good. And I hope that by the time that this uh, effectively, from what people say, it will form a bond. This uh, rib, this fatty stripper. We'll basically the latex sealant inside will start to kind of form a nice almost a chemical bond glue I don't know what you would call it but uh, that way when you do hit something hard from the side especially at low tire pressure and the you know and the bead wants to pop off you know let all your air out because this latex strip now will cover side to side a nice airtight kind of a seal uh, one of the guys I ride with says he can take his tire off the rim and the latex uh, fatty strip are still attached and so air so basically you could still put air in the tire even with it off of the rim so so far so good and I'll do the other one I'll do the front tire soon get the bike cleaned up and I'll do a couple rides and uh, let you kind of let you guys know how it's working so far and there it is my Fazari King's Peak in work. Thanks a lot. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay, day two. So far it's holding pressure. Check it here. I had it, I checked it this morning at uh, 8 PSI. Yeah, let's see how it's holding up here. Okay, I'd say it's about the same because uh, coming in from the house to the shop, it's a little bit colder out here, so I would expect the temp to drop a little bit. But uh, yeah, still pretty close to eight. So pretty good. I still need to trim the, the stripper from both sides. Tighten down my Old nut. <clears throat> All right. Get these rags out of the way and I'll work on the front tire. Wish me luck. Back in a minute. Okay. Got the front wheel ready for the fatty stripper. I've got the uh, bling strip on there so you can see the orange. I put two wraps of the of this packing tape around the edge. I did a better job this time. I don't think I did a good job on the back wheel. There's these little vent holes on the, uh, right up where the bead goes. And I got a little bit of tape over the top of that. I also put another strip, just a small strip around this hole after I burned through it with the, uh, with my uh, nail. So we'll see how this goes. I've got the fatty stripper ready to go. I've got the valve stem loaded through there. It's uh, set up with a road bike tube. Just poked a hole in it with a hot nail. Stuck it through there. There's the other end. Okay, I'll get this kind of make sure everything's dust and debris free and I'll get this mounted. All right, see you in a minute. Okay, I got my fatty stripper mounted. You can see the, how it kind of overlaps the rim. Got my valve stem in there. Got my tire ready to go. 
Got about a gallon of uh, sealant in there. It's okay. I'll leave it in there. Just I don't want to have any issues. I got uh, and like a lot of you know, I like to mount my valve stem up with the the labels. Not a big deal. I also uh, get the directional arrow set on there, which I just realized. I did not do on the back tire. I put it on technically backwards, but I think I would have a hard time telling the difference between forward and backward. We'll see. I just do not want to take this off. We'll see how it goes. Shame on me. I should have checked, but got got in a rush last night and put it on backwards. But uh, like I said, I probably won't be able to tell the difference. Okay, let me get this mounted and check back with you in a minute. All right, there's wheel number two, the front wheel. I got my strip a little bit offset. I think it slipped a little bit while I was mounting the tire. It was Made it a little bit harder because the uh, I had so much sealant already in there and I didn't want to get it sp spill it all over. So I've got them pumped up to about 9 PSI. And we'll keep an eye on the pressure, spin the wheels a little bit, get the sealant inside distributed. I got plenty. And we'll get this mounted back on the old Fazari, King's Peak. And maybe take it for a little spin around the neighborhood. And then uh, give it a day or two, and then I'll come back in. And I'll get a little uh, utility knife and pull this strip out and then cut right there. And make it look nice and clean. Back in a minute, I'll put it all together and show you one more. The final build. All right. Back in a minute. Okay. Got it off the stand, got the wheel mounted. There you go. The herkiest, jerkiest YouTube video of somebody putting fatty strippers on their bike. And I hope they work out. I think they look really cool. Orange, orange, white, kind of a creamsicle. Shark sticker. I call this bike the Wampa for the little Star Wars cave creature. So yeah, we'll get this, uh, I'll trim these off once we're done, letting the air settle in and make sure everything's are good to go. And then, uh, you know, I'll go out for a few rides, try some crazy low tire pressure, you know, try two, three PSI, give or take, and report back and see if I uh, have eliminated any little leakages around the bead. And if I can go out there with that low of a pressure, burp free, that's the hope. Okay, have fun, go out there, have fun riding, be safe. I'll talk to you later. Bye.